we've all seen hundreds and hundreds of game-winning drives in the NFL. But really, we only remember the ones that take place when there's something big on the line. Many NFL superstars have cemented their legacies with a crucial play on a game-winning drive in an important contest. I'm Justin's Fraction and TPS presents the 10 Biggest Game-Winning Drives in NFL History. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. And a big shout out to 11320 for suggesting this list. We hope you enjoyed, and if you do, feel free to leave your ideas down below. You never know, we might use one and give you a shout out. You know the drill. Let's, this is a long video, so let's do this. Number 10, the catch part two, 1998 NFC wildcard game. The 49ers kept looking for that sixth Super Bowl championship, but Brett Favre and the Packers kept standing in their way. The Pack eliminated San Fran in the 95, 96, and 97 playoffs, winning two NFC championships and one Super Bowl over that span. The rivals met in the postseason for a fourth straight year, this time in the 1998 NFC wildcard round. This back-and-forth shootout saw Favre hit Antonio Freeman for the go-ahead touchdown with under two minutes left. That gave Steve Young two minutes to get the monkey off his back. And after a terrible game highlighted by multiple drops, Terrell Owens came through with the signature catch of his career. That play became known as the Catch Part 2. Owens became a hero in San Fran forever as the 49ers finally, finally beat the Packers in the playoffs. Number 9. Sea of Hands 1974 AFC Divisional Round Led by the great Ken Stabler, the Oakland Raiders met the 70s powerhouse Miami Dolphins in the 1974 postseason. The Dolphins led 26-21 with just over two minutes left in the game. Oakland started from their own 32-yard line and needed a touchdown to win. Stabler drove them down the 8-yard line, but with no timeouts left, it looked like Stabler would get sacked, and the Raiders would really be against the clock. Nope. Somehow, Stabler managed to throw a desperate pass into the end zone, and Clarence Davis's iconic sea of hands catch was born. The Raiders took the lead with 24 seconds left and held on for the win. Legendary head coach Don Shula called it the toughest loss he ever suffered. Number 8. Tom Brady's 5th Ring Super Bowl 51 the Patriots were trailing the Falcons 28-3 midway through the third quarter in Super Bowl 51. Then Brady went to work to erase the deficit. Touchdown to James White, field goal. Another touchdown to Danny Amendola. Touchdown to James White, boom, overtime needed. Surely after all that, the Falcons would at least keep Tom Brady and company out of the end zone and give the ball back to Matt Ryan in overtime. Right. Nope, Brady wouldn't let go. Down the field, New England went torching the Atlanta secondary and James White finished it with a two-yard touchdown run. Easily the signature drive of Brady's legendary career. Number 7. Nick Foles Super Bowl 52 The Eagles met the five-and-a-half time favorite New England Patriots in Super Bowl 52. Backup quarterback Nick Foles replaced the injured Carson Wentz and led Philly to an unlikely appearance in the big game. Philly led for most of the game, but Tom Brady found Rob Gronkowski in the end zone to put the Pats up by one with nine minutes left. Backup quarterback Foles then pieced together a masterful drive. The 14-play drive that ate up seven minutes featured a clutch fourth down catch by Zach Ertz. Finally, the Eagles security blanket made the catch of his life, giving Philadelphia a five-point lead with just over two minutes left. Philly Strip sacked Brady on the ensuing drive and melted most of the clock to hold on for their first Super Bowl ever. For Foles, he went from nearly retired to Super Bowl 52 champion and MVP. Number 6. Peyton Manning 2006 AFC Championship Game Manning didn't beat his kryptonite for the first time until 2005. The Patriots embarrassed Manning's Colts in the 2003 and 4 postseason. Manning and the Colts hosted the Patriots in the 2006 AFC Championship game. India raced a 21-3 deficit and traded shot for shot with Brady and company. New England led 34-31 with 2 minutes 17 seconds left. Manning needed 80 yards for the game-winning score, and after years of being called the guy who couldn't win the big one, Manning forever changed his legacy with the best drive of his life. Marlon Jackson picked off Tom Brady in the waning seconds, sending the Colts to the Super Bowl as Manning finally got his revenge. The Colts went on to beat the Chicago Bears in Super Bowl 41. Number 5. The Big Ben Holmes Connection Super Bowl 43 The Steelers were looking to become the first franchise to win six Super Bowls. All they had to do was beat the Kurt Warner and Larry Fitzgerald-led Arizona Cardinals. A safety and two fourth-quarter touchdowns by Fitzgerald put Arizona up by three, with two minutes 37 seconds left. But as Cardinal fans remember, it was too much for Big Ben Roethlisberger. Number 7 looked to Santonio Holmes on this drive, as the Steelers marched down the field into the Arizona red zone. It was all capped off by Holmes' jaw-dropping tiptoe catch in the back of the end zone. And with that, the Steelers held on to win their sixth Super Bowl, and the Cardinals were left wondering what could have been. Number 4. Bart Starr Wins the Ice Bowl 
The Dallas Cowboys and Green Bay Packers met in the 1967 NFL Championship game that are known today as the Ice Bowl. The temperature at Lambeau Field was negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit, with an average wind chill of around negative 48. The people don't talk about the temperature that much. They talk about the legend of Bart Starr, and it was born that day. Dallas led 17-14 with under five minutes left. The Packers started out from their 32-yard line, and Starr pieced together a surgical drive for the ages. Dallas stuffed Green Bay twice at the goal line, and it was third and goal from the one. Head coach Vince Lombardi told Starr to run it, then let's get the hell out of here. Starr sneaked it in for the game-winning score. Boom! Dynasty! Packers are world champions. Starr and Lombardi are legends forever. Number 3 49ers Dynasty begins 1981 NFC Championship game. Before Joe Montana became a legend, the Dallas Cowboys were trying to earn Dynasty status. Roger Staubach led them to a pair of Super Bowls in the 70s. Now America's team just needed one more. Dallas led 27-21 at Candlestick Park with five minutes left. Montana started the drive at his own 11. Freddie Solomon contributed a couple of major plays on the drive to help San Fran reach the Cowboys' red zone. Then with 58 seconds left, Montana heaved up a desperation pass to Dwight Clark, who changed football history forever with the catch. The San Fran defense held on. They wound up winning the first of four Super Bowl championships in the Montana era. Clark's catch signaled a changing of the guard as the 49ers became the team of the 80s. Number 2 Perfect No More Super Bowl 42 The New England Patriots rewrote the record books in the 2007 season. Tom Brady's 50 touchdown passes were a single-season record, as were the team's 589 points scored. The Patriots entered this game 18-0, trying to become the first 19-0 team in NFL history. They entered Super Bowl 42 against the New York Giants as 12-point favorites. The game looked like it was over when Tom Brady hit Randy Moss in the end zone for a 14-10 lead with under three minutes left. And then the greatest catch in NFL history kept the Giants alive. Eli stuck the dagger in the hearts of the Patriots when he found a Plaxico burst wide open in the end zone. The Giants' defense held on and ended the Patriots' perfect season. It was New York's front seven that kept them in the game. It was Eli and the incredible game-winning drive that finished it. Number 1 Joe Montana Super Bowl 23 The 49ers were looking for their third Super Bowl championship of the 80s, but the Bengals had something to say about it. Cincinnati led 16-13 with 3 minutes 10 seconds left and needed to stop Joe Cool one last time in order to win their first Super Bowl. The drive started way back at San Francisco's 8-yard line, which apparently wasn't far enough for Montana and his team. The 49ers legend made the drive look easy thanks to the help of wide receiver Jerry Rice. Finally, with just a half a minute to go, Montana found John Taylor in the back of the end zone to win San Fran their third Super Bowl. That's why some people call Montana the GOAT. His ice water in his veins and he manufactured the greatest game-winning drive ever. What other game-winning NFL drive should we have included on our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.